and let's use the numbers that I have here. I've got a length of my solenoid, which is 42 centimeters, and a diameter of the solenoid is 1.8 centimeters, and we want to produce a B field that is uh, 0.03 Tesla. Okay. And the question is, if the maximum current is 4.7 amps, how many turns must the solenoid have? Okay, so I is going to be 4.7 amps, and we want to know the number of turns. All right, this doesn't seem too bad. Let's draw a picture of this thing first off. So here's our cylinder. We have current carrying wire going around. and the current comes back out. So what we said is if I is wrapping around in this direction, you can use the right hand rule to determine the direction of B, and you should get B like that. Okay. And we need to figure out what the number of turns is that we need. All right, but we know how to do this, right? The solenoid has a B field that we said is mu naught little n times i. And little n, we said, is the number of turns per length. Okay, how many coils do you have in a given length L? All right, it seems like we have just about everything we need to calculate n. N, let's just solve it from this equation, is going to be what? B times L divided by mu naught times I. That's it. In fact, we don't even need the diameter here. Right? That diameter D is not in our equation. So, let's plug in some numbers and see what we get. B was 0.03. L was 42 centimeters, but in SI units, that is 0 0.42 meters. Mu naught is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. And I is 4.7 amps. So somebody punch those into your calculator, tell me what you get, and I will approximate it here. So we've got uh, 3 times 10 to the minus 2. And then we've got a 4.2 times 10 to the minus 1. And we're going to divide by 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. And then we have another 4.7 right there. All right, so what's that? 3 times 4.2 is 12.6. And then I've got a 10 to the minus 3 up in top. Down in the bottom, what do we have? 4 times pi. That's got to be very close to, what, 12 with a little bit more. So let's say that's 12, and we'll say that one is 5. 12 times 5 is 60, and then we've got a 10 to the minus 7. Okay, so we've got a 12 over 60, which is, what is that? Well, that's pretty close to... Uh, 10 over 60, and 1 sixth is about 0.15. Let's maybe go up a little bit, 0.16. And then we've got a times 10 to the 4. So I'm going to say that we have 16 times 10 to the 2. Did anybody get a real answer for that? Anybody punch those in and get a number? 2100? Okay, so I did something wrong somewhere. Anybody see what we did wrong? If that's right, did anybody else confirm that that's the number they got?
Yeah, this is yeah, you're right. That's point two, but I'm still off by a couple orders of magnitude here, right? So if this is zero point two times ten to the four, this is two times ten to the three. There we go. That's where we went wrong. Okay, so that was our approximation and this is the right answer.